Hey guys! Um, so today I'm going to be talking to you about Helicobacter pylori and uh, the uh, different diagnostic tests associated with it. Um, but I'm also going to be incorporating different um, movie scenes and quotes in this video. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy! First movie is Mean Girls. Hey! Why don't you sit with us? Okay. Why don't I know you? Oh, I just moved here from Australia. I was um, studying H. pylori. So, if you're studying H. pylori, how do you get it? Oh my god, you can't just ask people how they get H. pylori. <laughs> uh, well, actually, H. pylori is a common bacterium found in your digestive tract. Um, most people are infected with it, but not all people actually show symptoms. Um, but it has the ability to cause uh, ulcers, and it can also lead to stomach cancer. She doesn't even go here. Whatever. I'm getting cheese fries. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the second movie is Bridesmaids. Have you ever been on a plane before? Nope. First time. I want to go to the bathroom, but I heard about this woman who went to the bathroom and she got sucked in the toilet. Sucked right in. What? That's <laughs> true. <laughs> yep. I also had a dream that everybody on the plane got H. pylori and they all died. You were in it. Oh god. Oh my god. Slow down. I can't. Ma'am, oh, yes. do not move! Do not move! I need to get off this plane! Help me, I'm sick. So there are five different tests used to diagnose H. pylori. Um, we have the stool antigen test, we have a urea breath test, um, we have a rapid urease test, um, which is a little bit more invasive because it requires a tissue biopsy. Um, we also have a serological testing and histological testing. So I'm going to describe the uh, five different tests that they use. All right, so the first test we're going to talk about is urea breath test. No, it's backwards. Sorry. Um, but for the urea breath test, um, basically the doctors will have you swallow a pill or liquid that's tagged with carbon molecules. Um, so if you have an H. pylori infection, um, carbon is released when you exhale. And the doctors will basically have a special device that measures the amount of carbon released to figure out if you actually do have an H. pylori infection. The next test is the stool antigen test. Um, so basically, you're just required to give the doctor a stool sample and then they will uh, detect the antigen to H. pylori in the stool and they can differentiate between an active and latent infection. Um, this test actually has the highest specificity and sensitivity out of all the other tests. The next test is serology. And serology, you're just detecting the antibodies to the bacteria. Um, this test is not actually used very often because it is not very effective and it has a very low um, sensitivity and specificity. Specificity. So the last two tests I'm going to talk about are um, histological testing and the rapid urease test. Um, they're both invasive tests. They require a tissue biopsy. Um, so with histology, a, path a pathologist will basically look at the tissue and um, see if the bacteria is in the tissue. Um, with the rapid urease test, um, the H. pylori bacteria produces urease and they do laboratory testing on the tissue um, to see if there is urease. Uh, so the main question that I was answering today is um, what test is recommended for the initial diagnosis and for monitoring H. pylori? And the test that wins is the stool antigen test. Oh, I just moved to here. Get it. Have you ever been on a plane before? Nope. It's my first time. Yeah. Well, I wanted to go to the bathroom, but uh, I heard about this woman who went to the bathroom and she got sucked right in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been on a plane before? <laughs> Have you ever been on a plane before? I'm going to cut you. <laughs> All right. Y'all want some butter? <laughs> 